far from home there not a word netflix series should you skip it or should you stream it at the end of this video you get to choose a yes or a no guy why do you roast all your artwork i'm following my own dream unrealistic dreams are too expensive this is movie o'clock my name is esther hello merry christmas guys merry 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 christmas compliment of the season all right now let's get straight into this movie far from home i mean the storyline it's about teenagers are they teenagers yeah, yes teenagers high school um, students who are you know it the storyline revolves around love the rich children versus the poor children, the rich lifestyle and yada yada yada. I'm not really about the storyline because it's a series and you know storyline for a series sometimes um, you can't predict it like it can just change right it's not like it would it won't revolve around drugs and all that stuff but you can't you can't say oh this is what the storyline is the storyline keeps evolving for season out films so yes the entire season one is out on netflix if you've not caught it yet maybe you would after this review okay i like to talk about what excites me about the movie first of all before we start going into the protocols um i'm excited about the film because it, it kind of it's different it's 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 way different from the entire series we've always been watching i mean from nollywood right it's different they brought i mean at some point right so shout out to one of my film fans esther she made me see the um far from home i mean she was like oh this movie is great and all that and then for the first three episode i was like wait is this a nigerian film or am i watching an african-american Film. and here is why I'm not a bush girl <laughs> but then the movie gave um, it gave this Western vibe right cuz I mean I was see I was hearing the F word lots of times I mean we use it in Nigerian movies but it was just so much and the drug part um, the drug the 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 party in the setting is ah oh, like so yeah i'm thrilled i'm thrilled i'm like it, it's really encouraging i love i love love the fact that nigerian movies and in other word movies are really evolving yes yes i would admit it although the street of twitter had it that this is a copy and paste of a movie called blood and water a south african movie is it true is it not true did they copy and paste it i mean there are lots of movies like that that are literally copy and paste storyline but we get to see different characters different settings different plots and different etc etc whether it's copy and pasted or not i think i will see give this movie uh like kudos to the crew the directors producers writers and yada 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 let's talk about the settings i love the settings i love love the money is good <laughs> i mean like i the settings yeah literally spelt out class from you could see the poor man and the rich man there's so much white like there's a wide gap between them so you can't just when you want to paint a poor house like the poverty you are seeing it like it's not this is damn this are not this is not the conventional nollywood where they want to uh, um um portray someone or a family who is poor and the first thing you see the camera is showing us um the mother and the daughter who is drinking gary and then the son who came back from job hunting and his face is down and like no they didn't take me and like oh yeah come on manage this gary with us you know what i'm saying you know <laughs> no this is no 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 and shout out to funky akidele what i need to see this woman on screen this one that she's contesting for governorship i don't know me i want to see her on screen and i know you also want to see her on screen anyways um so yeah the, the settings i really really love the settings i love the short the cinematographer i love my art for you like really i love the i mean some of the shots were top note like even that's i said that even if it's a copy and paste from of a movie there's some things that were really really 
an upgrade from the uh, the conventional Nollywood, I mean Nollywood movies we see around, right? Um, let's talk about the plot. Ah, oh, the plot. Okay, to be honest, like I said, I really I care less when I say copy and pasted movie. I like the plot. I mean, season one. We know how episode movies are in Nigeria, where season one is probably like five uh, episode one is probably like five scenes and it's going to be long and one scene is will be long one of the scenes will be long and draggy and we don't dance a lot of a lot of unnecessary things that should not be said or done you know but this was more like that from episode one i was so true like i like i would look forward to each episode you know and yeah the the, the, the plot the the I don't want to give you a spoiler if you've not seen it, but I think most people have actually seen the movie. I think so, you know. But see, I won't give you a spoiler. But I, the, the plot, the plot, the plot, the plot. One thing I like about the the plot and the storyline is the fact. Okay, I think I was. I'm coming back to talk about relatability of that movie. Um, but uh, how do I talk about the plot without giving a spoiler? Everybody should have seen the movie. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> characters okay they had a lot of amazing characters in the movie i mean a lot of supporting roles like i i, I really dug my heart um for funky akindele i love that character i mean I, if you know me very well i don't like the lead I, okay i'm an upcoming actress if you don't know that yet but I'm, I'm, I'm maybe i'm not ready yet i don't know whatever but i like characters that are not actually the lead character but their characters are like when they come on the scene they do what they have to do sharp sharp create you know deliver and leave the scene do you get like i always watch out for those characters you get more and Fuki Akindele is one Adufe is one of the characters i am looking forward to i mean from the first scene she came as okay Adufe is the ex-girlfriend of Ishaya yeah she came off as one local yada 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 girl and then she saw opportunity when she gave her boyfriend breakfast and she saw opportunity and she grabbed it and then literally she's evolving from that innocent affair we got to know to i mean with if you're thinking of boys remember how tony toes i mean tony toes is the younger version of um shalash Bowale, right and if you remember how um when shalash Bowale's husband died what like the young version Tony Tones now Tony Tones yeah when the husband died and how she had to take the seat of the king of boys I mean from being that wife more like innocent wife loyal wife to becoming the king of boys and having to man up and take our space in you know in the territory of you know the Udogus the men right so that's 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 um that are uh, what would I call it now? That manner, that 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 personality, that bigness. I can't find the word for it. Is uh, is what Adufe is bringing to the table, and I think he's she's definitely one character to watch out for in season two. I feel like I'm not sure because the writers can decide to you know flip the story, but prediction is Adufe is going to be one of the boss ladies, going to be controlling lot of stuff in season two now lots 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 love there's Carmel there plenty of good characters I want to talk about Ishaya I mean that is the character that has been raising brows on the street of Twitter and everybody's talking about Ishaya Ishaya happens to be the main character a great guy has a big dream and everybody's calling him selfish they say oh he's selfish because he's putting his dreams first up oh, hello excuse me He's not selfish because I don't think Ishaya is a selfish person. We're not going to do the argument. My friend came over and we did this argument a lot of time. You might just want to watch the clip. So really, much. yes, I do. I like him. I like him. He's, 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 he's just hustling, but at the same time, he's being selfish. He's not being selfish. That's the point. That's what see, everybody's see. Going to No, 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 no. I understand that you have to pursue your dream. I understand. Why that. is he selfish? See, I, I started to be think so, really. But do you think it's selfish? I want to know your opinion about Ishaya's character in the comment section. Please, please do it for Christmas.
<laughs> I want to know your comments about Ishaya. What do you think? What do you think? Is he selfish? Is he not? If you say, if you think he's selfish, can you just tell us one of your reasons? You know, why do you think Ishaya is selfish? And last but not the least, what I want to talk about is I love the storyline, I love the plot, I love the costume. I mean, they spend better money for the film. But what I want to talk about is I mean, it, it, it doesn't really um, matter though, but I feel like the movie is 70% not relatable to the Nigerian teenager or the Nigerian high school um, student. And here is why. Do we have, the movie talked about dream, like, I mean, if you're from a poor background, having big dreams, you want to be the greatest artist of all time, yada, yada, yada. Yes. A lot of people have that kind of dream, so it's very relatable. But the names, I mean, we're having Camel, something Camel, Kamen. The name is Kamen. We're having so many, so many Reggie. We have so many, so many, so many Western names. Like, I mean, if we want to do a Nigerian film, we should be hearing Adebola, Taiwo, Amaka, Chinedu, you know, Azan, Musa. You know what I'm saying, but mm, that's part of them. But, but it's not relatable because we are we that do we do drugs like that in Nigeria? I mean, like among teens, right now you want to talk about Yahoo, mm -hmm. fraud, like internet fraud is one thing that is is crazily um, like is living among us right now. Is living and breathing among us. Internet fraud, a lot of the way, like. <sighs> The setting, the party, the way they party, and um, it's just not relatable with us in Africa. It's in Nigeria, especially. Like, who gives you that? I mean, the fact that the fact that two secondary school students or high school students can even kiss in front of their parents, or in front of their principals, and all that, mm, how relatable is that? It's not relatable because she, you the whining me. me. <laughs> are you whining me that? Because you are misses the school, so you not you not kiss your boyfriend in front of your parents and in front of the entire school and in front of principals and management and board of directors. You know they happen in Nigeria. So even if you were going to copy and paste some film, I feel like they could have just made it relatable. But then I think I still I still think on the other side I think there's no problem with that because it's film. It does not have to be all relatable. Have to be what we are used to and all of that so yes uh, it's pardonable also some of the things i mean first three episodes were very thrilling check 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 then when we started getting to the fourth and fifth episode i started getting bored and tired at some point because i'm like they started doing some things that are not relatable at all for example not a spoiler but there was a, there, there was a fire outbreak in the lab in the next line of action was oh some of you are very this some of you students are you know this and that we must we are, we're very sure that the fire outbreak was due to your whatever the next line of action is we're going to fix cctv cameras how how is cctv how, how is a cctv camera the the solution to fire outbreak I know they wanted to infuse or bring in a CCTV camera, a CCTV camera into the picture because of the old drug movement and all that stuff. But coming in with a fire outbreak was a no-go area. And there was a part where this was supposed to be a very quick review, but then let me let it let me leave it here so that I don't get to spoil the movie. But to be honest, I would give the movie a four-star rating however i'm here to hear your opinion do you think a shyest character is a selfish one if yes why and if no why ladies and gentlemen it's been fun uh, hanging out with you guys it's always fun hanging out with you guys i always want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk merry christmas people merry christmas merry christmas i remain your girl esther hello and don't forget this is movie o'clock if you have seen the video to this point please smash the subscribe button if you've not subscribed yet Jingle the notification there to get notified in real time and also help me like and drop a comment. Thank you very much. See you again in the next video. 
hopefully next year and if that is going to be next year 2023 happy new year in advance merry 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 christmas